I don't know how well you can hear me. I've got my bloody front facing camera on because I had maps up. So I don't know how well you can see this, but I'm on my way to get the new merch that's coming out. And I'm super excited. I haven't actually seen it yet. I've sent the guy the design, but that that's it. I, I said, this is what I want. That's how I want it They're done. Obviously that's what I've headed down. I'm super excited. I feel like my head is going to be a bit sideways. Maybe that will be a bit better if I do that. But then I'm like, oh. so I'll just like sit over. I got the t-shirts and the hoodies. Oh my god, the hoodies look sick. I have no other words to describe it. I'm just gonna go get them out of the car. Alright, I'm gonna have to get this box out somehow. Look who's just turned up. So we got the red t-shirts. This is such a big box. No way, I need to be smart about this. Just put it on the table. Alright, I'll let Lucy do it. All right, yeah, go on. What am I doing? Get the t-shirt. Oh my, no, the quality in the- <laughs> T-shirts. Boom, classic logos. I kept them the same design as my old ones, both in red, that one, and these are the other ones, obviously, same design. I just love that logo. I love both these logos. This one, if you don't know, it's a VW. It's just like a little, little Easter egg. And now let's get the jumpers. What we all waiting for? I bet you the battery's gonna die now. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, please look. I'm just gonna shut up for a minute and just look at the quality of that. Yeah, get it out. All right, so this is the medium one. Yeah, we'll Have look you at seen the, the back. Yeah, yeah, we'll look at the back in a minute. Look at this. Look at that. All right. I just. I I feel like I'm really rushed because the camera's gonna die, but. I haven't seen this design anywhere, like the, the pattern design anywhere, the, the dark grey and the black. I saw it online, but just like randomly, but not for any other like automotive YouTubers. So I was like, shit, that looks, that looks sick. I need to do that. So yeah, there we go. We've got that on the front and then we've got that on the back. Slight little bit. It just looks sick. Oh, I love them. So these are the hoodies. I think, oh, they're so comfortable. I specifically chose these. There's a Hoover in the background. <laughs> oh. I specifically chose this hoodie because I knew I wanted this dark grey but also wanted like the black on the inside as well. Like it's, it's just nicely colour coded. It's not just all one colour, you know? Then you've got black, grey, black, black, and then grey. It looks sick. Turn around. Oh yeah, and then that on the back. I, c I could have just gone for the cheapest one that they've got. I prefer quality way more over just like, yeah, let's just get some cheap hoodies out because that, for the sake of it. Oh, so happy I went for the, the quality over quantity. So I'm releasing these after my meet because they're going to be for sale at the meet that I'm holding on the 30th of September. And then if there's any left, I will then put them up on my website where you can find the t-shirts as well and the new stickers. Haven't arrived yet, but they will be coming soon. Look at that. And turn around. That booty. <laughs> it's looking very good. £25, which I hope isn't too much because I don't want it to be too much, but you know, they're quality over quantity. So they're gonna be a bit more than just like the cheap 15 pound ones that I could have done, but I'm not about that life. For sale at the end of the month, if there's any left. And we're back to whatever this is. I don't know. Uh, things have just gone. I'm just gonna speak because I feel like these days I'm too I'm too worried about what people are gonna think. So I really carefully plan it out. But if I just ramble, you guys will eventually understand what I'm trying to say. There's quite a few things which are going on now, which, I haven't really spoken to you guys about, so I think we need to just go find a place, sit down, just to chill. Oh, but I was gonna do the ceramic coating thing today because, you know, like, it's been a week, so it's properly dry, and it hadn't rained at all, so it was, like, perfect, and then I was gonna test it, put hose on it, put some dirty water on it, put some graffiti on it, no, I wasn't gonna do that, that just seems a bit, like, a bit too much, but it rained. And if it would like to focus on the, uh, I don't know how well you can see it. The sides of the car were just almost completely dry and the bonnet was just like, it was just silky smooth with the rain just flowing off. So we'll probably go out there and I'll show you. So for those who don't follow me on Instagram, basically post my whole life updates on there. And if you follow me on Instagram and you don't watch my stories, then why are you even follow me on Instagram? I basically just post absolutely everything onto my stories. I post on there every day. On Instagram, if you guys were there, you would have already seen. I am getting a new exhaust. 
about a month ago I entered this competition with full throttle performance. It was just tag like two or three friends and then like the post and then like their page. And I was like, fuck it, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna win. Last week I was at a car meet and I look at my phone and I see that they've mentioned me in their stories. So I, I think to myself, what the fuck have they mentioned me in the story for? And then I saw that, that I was apparently the exhaust winner. So I, I don't, it just seems like extreme luck. I tried to have a look on their website well, they don't really even have a website, so I looked on their Instagram page, which worries me just a small bit, is that they don't have any examples of their actual exhausts. Like, they've got video clips of a few cars of what they sound like after they've installed it, but I couldn't find the welding, like, mid-welding, you know what I mean, like, mid-making the exhaust. So I was like, okay, well, it seems shady on my end. I'm not trying to, I'm not, like, throwing shade or anything because I'm hugely, hugely appreciative of this because it's, like, such a, it's something I wanted done for so long. Like, the amount of times I've said to you guys, I'm pissed off because my exhaust doesn't doesn't sit right. It needs to be slightly louder or it needs to come forward or the tips need to be a bit bigger. Like, the amount of times I've said that, the amount of comments I've got saying that, mate, you need to move your exhaust in more. It, it sits behind the bumper. Yes, I know that. Thank you for pointing it out. I have to look at it every day. And then, boom, I've won this competition. But yeah, like I was saying, I tried to look on their Instagram page and that's the only thing that worries me a slight bit is that they don't have any examples of what their custom exhausts look like. It's a 45 minute, it's a 45 to an hour's drive away. I'm going on the 9th of October, I think. It's not been confirmed yet. I'm gonna do a bit of filming there with you guys. They've said that's cool. Can't do too much because of health and safety reasons, of course, but I'll get what I can. I'm looking forward to that. It's cap out exhaust, basically. So what I've currently got at the moment, the setup on my exhaust, which means that it's got a back box, but it doesn't have a resonator. And what I want is to flip that round to make it slightly louder, not have a back box, but do have a resonator. I don't want it loud on idle, really, but I, I just want it loud. I just want it loud when I'm putting my foot down because it's not really loud enough when I do that. So that's sort of the hopes and goals. Got a little bit of fluff on sticking up on the side of your face. Right, I'm gonna actually just sit down now. I thought so much about this merch because I don't want it to just be I throw merch out there, buy it type of thing. I know some people do that, they just get the cheapest stuff they can get and they post it up just so that they have their name on something which people can buy. I'm about quality, I don't want it to just be the cheapest thing I can find, slap my name on it and then sell it. I want it to actually be good and be worth the money that you guys are paying for it. These t-shirts, they're so soft, they're so silky smooth, I love it and they fit perfectly. I drove an hour and a half to pick these up and I did that for a reason. So they may be a bit more expensive than what some people are selling theirs for online, but at the end of the day, I just need to make my money back for these. I'm not getting a huge profit out of these because I just want to, I just want you guys to be able to wear something just to, to show your support because I know it sounds like really Big headed. I'm not really, I'm not trying to make it be big headed. I'm just saying people want to support me. I know you guys want to support me. And it, and when you guys ask like when the t-shirts are coming out, when the hoodies are coming out, when the new stickers are coming out, it makes me happy to know that you guys actually want something to show that you're supporting me, if that makes sense. That's why I've gone with the quality. We only have 19 hoodies at the moment. And then I'm taking them to Santa Pod. And then I'm having my car meet, which if you don't know, Santa Pod is on the 29th which is a Saturday of September. 29th of September, I'm going down to Santa Pod uh, for Run What You Brung Day with a few people. So we're just gonna have a drag race, see what times we can set, and I'm really looking forward to that. If you wanna come down just to watch, you're obviously more than welcome, and I'll bring a few of the hoodies just in case there are people there, and the t-shirts, of course. And then the meet is the next day on the 30th, gonna be in Weybridge. I'm 100% set on the location now. I've had a think through. Uh, the only thing is there's no toilets or food really nearby obviously you can drive to a mcdonald's which is maybe like 15 minutes away it's either have it in a really have it in basically an empty location where you're not going to really be stressed about if there's going to be police crawling up and down the high street because it's not really anywhere near a high street it's not in a busy location at all and it's got amazing lighting it was that or do it in a high street with a mcdonald's next door where there's going to be chavs and there's going to be sunday night slags <laughs> You know what I'm saying, the chavvy people. No, that's, I can't say that. You know what I mean, right? I don't want people from a high street going out on a Sunday night to come and ruin the night for us. So it's in a location which is away from everything, but it's massive, there's loads of space. I'm looking forward to it. I'll obviously have the t-shirts and the hoodies there. I have them in the boot of my car. So if you're coming down and you see me and you wanna grab one, just head over. I'll bring my old t-shirts as well. There's only a few left. They'll all be there and I'll be there. I, it'll be good. Uh, what else was I gonna say? I'll see what hoodies and stuff I have left. Then they'll go up on my website. Is that a dead frog outside? I don't know what that is. We got a parcel today. I've been waiting on this 
for about, I've been waiting on this for about a month. But anyway, I just want to bring it back to what we were talking about with the t-shirts and stuff. This isn't just like a plain red t-shirt. Its resemblance is the GTI. And then you've got the Cooper R, the R's red. You know what You know what I mean? That type of thing is, it's just a little, another little resemblance to them things. But it's not just a red because that wouldn't look good on a t-shirt. I had, like I said, I thought through this. It wouldn't look good just having like a block red. You know what I mean? It would look really childish and it would look cartoony. And it wouldn't look good. But I think this color red is good. We got a parcel today. I've been waiting on this for about, I've been waiting on this for about a month. I'm gonna open it up right now and then we're gonna talk about why I've got it. Can you tell what it is yet? I don't think it's obvious enough. I'm sure you guys have heard of Orcs Beam. Oh, sick, we got a nice sticker with it as well. Oh, we got two stickers with it. Damn, son. Wow. Holy shit. When they said that they were gonna send me some lights, did not expect them to match my calipers almost. <laughs> Holy shit, that's mad. These look so expensive. Let's see what's in here because there's probably instructions or something, which I always miss that one. All right, um, warranty, and that's it. Um, if you remember me saying about a month ago, I said that I'm getting some new headlights. My current headlights are gonna be for sale when the new ones arrive. And a massive shout out to Orcsbeam for linking me up with these lights as well. And they're gonna be installed the same time as my new headlights. I'm super excited for my new headlights to come. They're custom made. I'm not gonna say anything about what they look like, but just know that I like the halos. I'm not going away from the halos and that's all you need to know. So with them being installed at the same time, I reckon it's gonna look, it's gonna look good. I'm, I hope it's gonna look good. But yeah, uh, I need to figure out how to convert that plug or where the hell it goes or where I need to wire it in because currently I don't know. Okay, never mind. Ignore what I just said. I just come down the end of the garden. My old headlight, because this is what they're going to be based off, and it is exactly the same. It literally is the same plug and it will just plug straight in. So ignore everything I just said. Already, sorry about the wind, but like from this panel, look at it. It's like bone dry. I'll compare it to my mum's car. Like, so this is a car which hasn't been washed in a while. And it's also just sunny now. Now compared to this, look at that beading. You can't even see it on the camera. Like that would just slide right off. It still feels so smooth. And then with the exhaust, it sits inside the bumper. So I just want this sorted. I want it to just sit maybe to there. Like so two, two or three fingers worth. Just, I want it just sat, you know. Just sticking out slightly from the bumper. This video's just been like me rambling on about just a load of stuff. I'm working quite a bit, so I don't have the time. The way I'm working, it's not like five days a week and then have the weekend off to film. Currently at work, it's, it's in a bad situation. So we've all just been thrown in to cover some shifts. You know, like I got this, I got the part-time job for the fact that it was a part-time job, but now I'm doing like 41 hours this week. So it's not really a part-time job. So I just don't have the time. I don't want to just upload shit for the sake of it. Uh, this video kind of feels like I'm just uploading shit for the sake of it, but I hope it's not. I just wanted to speak because I don't really do that much. I don't really like to speak, but I don't like actually talk. Santa Pod, I'm super excited for that. The video is going to be sick. We've got the ST coming. We've got the Mini coming. We've got, I think we've, we may now have a Honda Type R coming along with a, a bike. I don't know absolutely anything about bikes. <laughs> I'm just going to say it with a bike coming. But yeah, we're all going to probably, If I don't know if they've confirmed it yet, but, and I'm just excited to see what time I can get now. What I've said in the previous videos as well, front splitter and all that, I'm still going to do that. I'm still planning to do that. It's just, I need the money basically. I'm not broke, but I'm just, I'm saving my money for things that I actually need at the moment. So I'm not just gonna spend it on a new car. I was, to be fair, I've been looking at a new project car. I have been looking at a Golf Mark IV, surprisingly, V5. For ones which need work, they go for less than 500 pounds. I'm just waiting for the perfect one to turn up, which isn't miles away, you know? There's one which is seven miles from me. All it needs is a new cat and it's like 500 pounds, but it has no MOT. So I'm trying to figure out how I can bring that home with no MOT and I don't really want to pay for a trailer to come pick it up, you know? It's all just thoughts and I would like to make it happen, but I need to just work at the moment and get some more money in. Uh, I'm now going to get this video edited and hopefully upload it today. So because today's Wednesday, so upload it before I go to work. Don't forget to leave a like guys, if you enjoyed the video, it shows me that you guys are still there and you're still active and you're still watching to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. I'm literally in the middle of editing this video when I get a knock at the door, saving the best bit till the end. Massive box, because obviously they are massive. We're in.
Oh wait, are we are we in? Oh, we are in. Oh, here we go. Oh, Ta! Hey, Ta! Hey! <laughs> you gonna open these with me? You gonna open these with me? Yeah? You excited? Of course you are. Wow. So that's that's headlights. Oh damn. They look sexy. So they're obviously the halos. And then you got the twin indicators. I'm not sure how the twin indicators work. I'll have to open it up. But yeah, there we go. Brand new custom made headlights. Oh, I'm excited to put these in now. You excited? That was just a special treat for the people who stay right till the end. Bye.